I don't know about you, but growing up, I didn't know there was a theory of disease. At least no one explained it to me that way or I didn't quite conceptualize it that way, let alone two theories. And the interesting thing is that during the mid 1800s, these two theories were actually competing against one another to see which one was gonna be accepted and continue treating new patients. So the question is, what is the germ theory and what is the terrain theory? Well, the germ theory is currently the accepted scientific theory for all diseases. It states that microorganisms known as pathogens and germs invade the human body, animals, and other living hosts. And because of this invasion, it leads to disease. Some of these microorganisms that can invade the human body can be anything from bacteria, viruses, fungi, and more. And the individual that's given the most credit for this theory and the discoveries of the principles of vaccination, microbial fermentation, and pasteurization is Louis Pasteur, a French chemist that was born in 1822. So almost everything we are taught about health, from taking pharmaceuticals, vaccines, antibiotics, and more comes from the germ theory. But it wasn't until I hit rock bottom with my health 10 years ago, where I decided to take a different approach because the medical community or the germ theory couldn't help me anymore. Therefore, I decided to focus on my health and cleaning my terrain. So the question is, what is the terrain theory? Well, the terrain theory states that an unhealthy and weakened body is not sick because of germs, it is sick because of lifestyle and toxic chemicals within the body that breaks down the tissue. Welcoming scavengers or decomposers such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, and more to consume that weakened tissue. The theory also believes that the pH of the body is very important. That during an alkaline environment, it actually repels viruses, bacteria, fungi away. During an acidic environment, it actually welcomes or brings them into the body. And the individual that has given the most credit for this theory is Antoine Bichamp, a French chemist and biologist who was born in 1816. And to me, this theory made sense because nature created decomposers or microorganisms to consume organic material, whether it is inside of us or outside.